I guess we'll get started. And Joseph can jump in when he gets here. Yep. So, where we last, last left off, you guys had finally arrived in Cairo. And after all your uh, shenanigans in London, you slipped into yeah. Egypt and proceeded to almost immediately cause havoc. Um, yeah. The, you know, okay. Chaos. That's what you like to do. Yeah, the police in Port Said are already looking for you. Um, and Jack has made a name for himself with the merchants of Cairo. Now he doesn't get his way, he will kill them. Or at least threaten to kill them. Only and, if they're dishonest. And you guys got food poisoning. Because pasta is useless. I, I honestly think nobody puts points in Natural World when they're making the characters, and that's what kind of screwed you all. Well, when I'm looking there from it, uh, I'm just thinking, hmm, what, ab what if I... I, I don't know. I mean, world. it's... I mean, it's... When I look, I'm a doctor. Couldn't I, like, go and make uh, a medicine check with disadvantage? No. For example? No, not, Just if, not if it was food. Like, I to, like, say, this will definitely hurt me. Your mummy told you you should be a, f a food scientist. <laughs> 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 Of course. Uh, and right before the end, Joseph and Harold were going to the library, I believe, while Jack was staying with Dr. Granham and Igor. But Igor disappeared! <laughs> Died of food poisoning. <laughs> Oh, well, that's we're gonna pick up with Jack and Dr. Granham. With what? Okay. <coughs> Goddamn rotten potent food! <sighs> Pasta fire! What the fuck? Are you Wait. still not feeling good? Like, what's going on with you, buddy? I eat fucking rotten food, unwilling. Knowing, knowingly. So yes, that's what it does. That's what rotten food does to you, mate. Yeah, but I gave you guys medicine. What did you think? I gotta look the medicine. I'm just gonna be like uh, within five minutes. Oh, here we go. My he, my cancer is gone. My depression is gone. My I have my leg back, and I see better. Yeah, sure. You lost your leg? When did that happen? I Facebook. <sighs> God damn it. Look, it no, just it's a stomach up. soother. So uh, your nausea will subside faster, which means after a couple hours away, you should be feeling a bit better. No, it takes more, more than that. And Jackal Shrug. Depends what it is. Exactly. Alright. You know, this this was, was a local food, uh, something we don't know, so it might have uh, even worse effects than normal food. Because Egypt is special and, sh and shit. Alright, Jack, I need you to make a listen roll. Just check, okay. Just check. Alright, Jack, nah. you don't hear any distinct words, but you hear shouting coming from the hall in the hotel. Cute. Um, I'm gonna immediately draw my pistol. Somebody's shouting outside, and I'm gonna put my back against the far wall facing the door, aiming the pistol. At the door, obviously. 
Okay. Greetings, Buster. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes, my God. Oh, God. <laughs> the vault was 100%. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. You, you saw the board. You saw the that you have the po food poisoning that me. Again? <laughs> Sorry. You sound more that you have the food poisoning than me. Tell that to the uh, to the room you uh, you fully vomited out. I mean, you would deserve it. <laughs> I, deserve, I deserve nothing. You fucking give me rotten food for fuck's sake. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't on purpose, come on. <laughs> Didn't you see the flies coming out of it? I don't know, do you see flies when you enter a room in the freaking night? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Alright, so while well, Dr. Granum is still getting up and throwing up, in whatever receptacle he can. And uh, Igor seems passed out on the bed. <laughs> Jack is uh, standing with his back against the wall, his pistol drawn. You just keep hearing shouting from the hallway. And it sounds very angry. Can you do something about the earth? It's fucking annoying. I'm trying to, you know, getting better. <laughs> Jesus. Help the old man getting rid of the noise. Um. Jack's like, I don't know what's going on out there, but I'm hesitant to go out without knowing what is happening. Alright, Jack, you can make an intelligence roll. Oh, fuck. Alright, the shouting is... Definitely, and while it's a language you don't understand, you recognize it to be Arabic. They're what? shouting in Arabic out there, guys. We we should be ready for this. Huh. <coughs> <coughs> Fucking great. More Arabic bullshit. Oh, I love this country. Ah. I pulled out uh, my gun and and hide it under a high so, sort of that I have it prepared if someone tries, tries to get caught me. me just to get, be ready. I'm still like lay, laying sick, but I have tried have the gun ready if needed. Hide it. Hide it. Hide it. Right, the shouting is continuing. <sighs> mm. <coughs> At this... Uh, we, uh, can we just wait, like... 10-15 minutes to see what will happen and then determine What do you say guys? I say it's possible But Jack, I'm not there. shrug. I'm not sure what's going on Someone tell me what what they need me to do 
<laughs> Why? Let's just uh, ignore it. The, yes, let's just go back to sleep. Yes, exactly. But uh, barricade the doors. I would help, but I'm sick. <laughs> Jack will go with his pistol still aimed at the door and go move a table or something in front of it. Most of the furniture is bolted to, like, secured to the ground, but you can move like the table, like some like the tables and stuff. Yeah. Okay, that's what I'll do. It the uh, shouting is stopped from the hallway. <laughs> Can I listen, um, not against the door, but try, like, against the wall or something to see if I can make out what's what's going on? Sure. You can make a listen roll. God damn. <laughs> you suck. Apparently, yeah. <coughs> I can't hear shit today. Yeah, you don't really hear anything, um... The floors outside of the rooms are carpeted, so you couldn't tell if somebody was walking by or not. I think they left, guys! <laughs> cute. Real cute. Let's just... <sighs> and I... And I hide the... They got under the pillow and sleep. <sighs> Try to at least go to sleep. Not sure if my sickness will allow it. I, right. Jack, <laughs> you notice that you uh, there is like a you see a shadow underneath the door for just a moment, followed immediately by a knock, and something slides under the door. It looks like a, a folded a piece of paper. Um, hmm. I'm going to stick my foot out and try and drag the paper into the room a little bit and then pick it up and read it. Okay. I'll assume it's a bill, though. It actually looks like a uh, newspaper. But it's oh. not, um, it's, there's, it's, Strange. It's like the same kind of paper, but it just doesn't really seem like it was written by a journalist. So it's like a tabloid. It's sort of like a tabloid, but um, whoever wrote it wasn't <laughs> professional about it. Oh, okay. Uh, I think Jackal pull it back from that door and just start to open it and see if he can read it. Yeah. If it's in English or it's Arabic. It's written in plain English. Fantastic. Uh. It says, Announcement, MI6 announced possible covert USSR activity in the vicinity of Cairo. All residents are asked to remain calm while foreigners are asked to seek their nearest embassy. For additional information. <coughs> oh, good. And Jack, you can make an intelligence roll on this now while you're looking at it. Oh, I get a little chubby there. The date printed on newspaper is the wrong date, it's tomorrow's date. Guys, this is tomorrow's paper. Either we should head to an embassy now, or we should make our way down the Nile. Either way, we don't want to stay here, because this is clearly a message. Uh, I'm sleeping, so I didn't hear you. Just saying out of character. I'll kick you back to being awake. Fuck off! Ugh. Don't you see I'm fucking sick? Yeah, sick in the head. We gotta move. Now. 
The ship ain't ready, though. By the way, it is early afternoon. If you forgot. I mean, it's night, right? No, it's um, like 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Huh. Still. Fine. Jesus. Why well, don't I go to Igor and try to wake Wake up, we need to go. He looks at you, groans, and he follows you out of the room. Okay, I pick up all my things, get dressed up, and... Alright. And right at that same moment, Harold and Joseph are walking into the library. Right. Right, we, have, we had a meeting with the uh, MI6 agent, right? No, you had someone identified themselves as an MI6 agent outside of the library, but you pretended you weren't Joseph. Yes, here, yeah, right. You were some kind of weird pastor just doing shits and jiggles. Apparently. At this point, we're all criminals, so why even bother? All right, I should call you. Start calling you Peter and not Buster because at this point, you're not Buster anymore. That story is set for another day. Um. Anyway. What are we looking for? We're looking for a book. Yes, for a book or general information. Right, um... Mm, Harold, what do you say, which, which section of the library should we uh, look through first? Um, um, what sort of information are we looking for? I know, everything related to the, um... To some, um, oh, uh, Pharaoh. Yeah, the uh, Black Pharaoh. Yes, yes. Why has he got to be black, huh? Because uh, we were inv involved at one stage with the cult of the Black Pharaoh. I never. Was that the uh, guys in uh, New York that put it onto that? No, that was Bloody Tongue. Yeah, it was the London who yeah. worshipped the Black London Pharaoh. London was the Black Pharaoh, okay. <laughs> okay, pharaohs should be quite common here in Egypt, so there must be a section of, uh, of them somewhere. I'd say, looking through the um, history section, and the, I don't know, esoteric section is the thing. Yeah, alright, um, the library is, it's not massive, um, and it's arranged alphabetically by author. By author. <laughs> by author. Um, the titles are kind of obscure, several books are in different languages that you can't read, but you can make a library use role. Okay. It starts off well. <laughs> Obviously. Why am I not surprised? Harold, you can make library use roll if you're looking as well. Alright. Harold, you find little mention of the dark, uh, the Black Pharaoh. Um, so the reports that you are able to read are um, they come from the Third Dynasty in Egypt. Very obscure. Um, not much is known about the time period. 
including who the pharaohs were during that time. Um, and there is a legend that says that a sorcerer came out of the desert and became known as the Black Pharaoh. Cute. Did you find something? Uh, yeah, I found something that refers to a sorcerer uh, from the desert. So that sounds if he came out from uh, the Upper Nile. Uh, yeah, the Upper Nile area or Upper Egypt. And was referred to as the Black Pharaoh. Sorcerer. Sorcery doesn't exist. Otherwise, uh, um, those things do not exist. And the creature like me, a lot of that doesn't exist, but apparently they do, so I'm not going to question it. And, of course, uh, we used some magic uh, while we were in London, I seem to remember. Mm, yes. We did, so... Uh, oh, yeah. About that. Yeah, we did. But we are not... Um, that doesn't make us... Uh, Wizards. You're not wizard, Harry. <laughs> uh, you guys keep looking through the library, but you don't find any other books on the topic. Um, the only part of the library you haven't really gone through is like the mo like a more of a general interest section and the uh, local newspapers. Of course. Uh, does there appear to be a, a librarian knocking around somewhere? Um, you can speak our language. You can look around. I'm sure there's a librarian there. You can even make a luck roll to see if you find one who speaks <laughs> English. <laughs> I'm Shop. English. I need my librarian. Chap chap. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm American and I need a librarian. Then fuck off. Only British people deserve a librarian. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be a no. You find a, a librarian, but they do not speak English. What about our um, our Cairo tour guide? Um, is he with us? Um, as far as I know, he is. Oh, okay. Out of interest, what was the uh, what language was the book that I found in? Um, the book that you found was an English book. So it was a translation. Mm. Of course. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the book <coughs> over to the librarian and uh, uh, point out the passage that ref refers to a black pharaoh. So you have you to... F you have to translate that, though. Okay, I'll ask him to ask the librarian if they got any more books up. About the Black Pharaoh. Yeah. Right. Um, the Dragoman translates for you. Um, and the librarian says that they do not have any other books from that time period. That would be too easy if they had. Are there some kind of um, legend or folklore uh, related books? Which uh, are, are all about uh, similar topics like sorcery and stuff. All right. Um, the librarian uh, nods and leads you guys over to a section of books, um, and they're definitely in a foreign language that you don't understand and you can't read. Okay. Um, uh, what what language? Do you read? They are. Books that are written in Arabic or some form of Arabic. Okay. Why nobody speaks Latin or writing it? <laughs> ah, however, our dragoman presumably reads uh, Arabic. <laughs> okay, we will read out your book. Great. Maybe. He might read, he might not. That was lucky. Okay, um, 
a Can't German do. should be um, uh, Joseph would, would ask him to um, look for a book um, which is about uh, legends <laughs> legends or uh, folklore about uh, old Egypt uh, what period did the um, book about the black pharaoh uh, refer to, to? That's quite old. Yeah, that's pretty damn old. Uh, Salim, the dragoman, looks at the books and he says to you that he can read most of it, but some of the words he doesn't understand that they're not Arabic. What is it then? Joseph asks. Um, it's basically a story about how a, a man claiming to be a sorcerer came to came out of the desert and a light um sort of made an alliance with the ruling pharaoh at the time, who was known as the Black Pharaoh. The sorcerer oh, so helped the Black Pharaoh rule, and as time went on, the sorcerer and the Black Pharaoh became known as the same person. Oh. So the pharaoh was actually a pharaoh, but he was guided by uh, another entity. Yes, there was an actual pharaoh, and then there was a sorcerer. There were two separate people. So you can think of the sorcerer as like an advisor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cute. But the, uh, Salim does point out that the words that are Arabic seem more like names than regular words. <laughs> Wait, so, ju just to clarify, I is this written in Hieratic or in Arabic? Um, it is a... It looks like Arabic, but it's not entirely Arabic. So it's okay. mutated. Yeah, so it's mutated Arabic, I see. Yeah. It's it's like a combination of languages that are all meant to look like Arabic. Okay, so it's more or less gibberish to yeah. us right now. Yeah, so somebody who understands Arabic really well can read it for most of the most part. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> you know, when you don't like... Uh... English people are just... Stop. <laughs> so we know that... The, uh... That's... Nanotep is referred to as the Black Pharaoh. But this means he's... He wasn't the Pharaoh, he was the sorcerer the Black Pharaoh... Uh, came in contact with. That's, that's how I understand it now. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, we can't just ask an old type if, if that's true or not. I don't want to see that person, that, that, uh, that thing, ever again. Um. Uh, I'll ask Salim uh, if he can ask the librarian if there's anybody that uh, um, associated with the library that is particularly interested in uh, legends about sorcery and so on, particularly from the Third Dynasty. Um, the librarian will say that um, Dr. Ali Kafour of the Egyptian Museum is very interested in all antiquities. Okay, so um, I'll thank the librarian for their help and uh, suggest to the pastor that maybe we should uh, 
goes to the museum. All right, uh, the only option we got, right? Okay, with that, uh, I think we're heading to the museum. Yep. Okay, well, t I need everybody to make a luck roll. <laughs> uh, God damn it. Yes! <laughs> wow. At least I didn't make fumble. <laughs> All right, right, as, <laughs> as as you are running out of the hotel, and as Harold and Joseph are leaving the library, Jack, you see your friends. Nobody else okay. seems to have noticed each other, but you see them in the crowd of people in Cairo. All right, I'm I'll going to. Seven, right? Uh, try to grab them all and have them with me? Or are they all in, like, different directions? No, they're all... They're moving together, so it's easy to corral them. Okay, I, I shout at them all and get them to come with me. Huh. Mm, what was the... Is that check? What are, they, what are they doing outside? Can Jack? No, actually, everybody can make a wisdom roll. Listen. Finally, I can hear <laughs> things again. <laughs> Apparently, I can. All right, Jack, you. He, you, everybody hears a scream. Hear someone screaming. Jack, you hear in your mind. You are you flash back to cries from the war of people screaming just before a military attack, either gunfire or a bomb. Okay. And Pastor. Pastor, you. When you hear the scream, you can tell exactly that's coming from your hotel that you were staying in. It comes from over there. And uh, he points in the direction. And yeah. as what you did? look and you point, you can faintly hear the click. Just before a bomb goes off. Oh. In the well, rooms that you guys had been in. Good. Good that I have pick up up pick up all my things. <laughs> oh, God. Um Jack, please tell me you do not have anything to do with that. For once it I wasn't look me. Oh, <laughs> Then what just happened? Uh, somebody oh. bombed uh, the library we were just in. Or was no, that the hotel? the hotel? That was the hotel. Okay. Um, this is worrying so... Fuck. Hm. This is straight out attack against us. It was planned. Yes. Alright. Like... Now, um, I'm going to push our group out of the main path of travel and back and into like a back alley or something okay so we're one not visible and two we have some breathing room okay um so no it's just you are alone you hear shouts and screams from the main road you hear um Whistles being blown and police running down the street. And as you take cover, you look around and you realize that there are only four of you. And Where is Igor? Where is Igor? Igor's gone. I I look around there too if I don't see him. It's okay, Igor was shifty anyway. You don't see him. 
Can I spot hidden? You, you can make a spot hidden roll, yes. <laughs> He's Damn. dead on the ground. <coughs> We're just standing on it. <laughs> yeah, but it is still like orbs. Uh, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm like... sick, so I, I was coughing for a moment, too. Bertolin is like, Fuck, I didn't expect someone to roll X3. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> no, part of me's like, now how am I gonna sp spin this? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, you look and you see... Men... Standing a little bit outside of... Like, away from the crowd, like, watching the scene, but not being involved. They're not acting like normal civilians. And with your extreme success, you can even see mostly hidden um, military uniforms under their jackets. Do I recognize what, uh, uni what kind of uniform is it? Um, you would have to make an intelligence roll. Okay. Does uh, does he point that out to us? First, okay. I made the, made the intelligent roll. Intelligent roll. All right, Doctor, you would recognize these uniforms from your own time serving in war as Russian uniforms. Okay, I immediately look at the guy. I mean, Russians. I know where, where he is. They're, they took him. Him, these guys. I know put put at them. I'm not yelling or that. I'm just uh, sort of. Oh fuck! They took. They, they're the guys that took him. I said, most likely. Uh, how many are there? Um, from exactly. what you say, you can tell that there are probably at least six men. There are six of them. And Jack, you can make a spy hit roll. Say again? You can make a spy hit and roll, Jack. Apparently I can't. <laughs> yeah, apparently you can't. All you see are these men stand there and they say something to each other and they start walking away. We don't know if they have Igor. We need to get ourselves safe before we do anything else. Damn it. They could leave the country any time. Yeah, but what does that matter to us? They don't have anything to do with the Black Pharaoh, most likely. But they could have Igor. Doctor, Don't you remember? I gotta be honest with you, we probably should not try to interfere with this. I do not want, want to have the NKVD against us. Right, just like that sacrifice, uh, Igor, like that. <sighs> as soon as the situation gets clear, we should should do a memorial minute for, for our comrade. Yes. Assholes. Um, as you look, you can see that most of the smoke's cleared, but there is still fires burning in the hotel. It seems that the explosions were confined to those two rooms that you guys had. Of course. I'm not going to do anything. trying to make everybody move away. Let's go, assholes. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna be able to do anything myself. <sighs> I, uh, I'm really pissed, looking pissed off right now. I'm making really visible that what they just did, I dislike very much. I don't like it either, Doctor, but we cannot take on the entire NKVD. Even I'm not that crazy. 
as much as it hurts me as a as a Christian, probably in sooner or later. Shut up. Let's go. Okay, I'm so apparently I do not have an opinion for po for food poisoning you. Just go. Just let's go. What did I do, Doctor? If you want to go one on one on six against the uh, NKVD and want to deal with the consequences, go do it. There will be more than that because uh, they didn't have Igor with them. Maybe there, there, there is with them. Maybe I just didn't saw him. You saw their uniforms, so I think you would have noticed Igor if he'd been with them. He made him out, might have hiding you. Um. <sighs> Look, Doctor. It hurts me as well that Igor is gone. But if we are going, I mean, we can. But if we're going against the NKVD, we're probably not not going to be alive within the next two days. We are dead anyway. So what is what's the point? The point is that we have to now focus on saving much more than just one single person. Are they, actually, are they still there when we are talking? Just uh, a curious, curiosity. No, they... The men have moved away. You can't see them anymore. Um, and the police have dis uh, dispersed the crowds. It doesn't matter. Anyway, they are gone. Let's go. Let's just go. Alright, so you guys gonna continue down to the Egyptian Museum? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Alright, um, from where you guys are, it's a few blocks. Um, everything, the people you see seem to be acting like nothing is really going on. Some people are pointing in the distance from where the bombing was. And you hear some muttered curses of damn rebels as you walk oh, um, okay. and Salim is leading you down to the Egyptian Museum wait did he actually hear what we th were saying um the way I see it is like he was standing off from you a little bit and you guys were talking just to each other okay um so he was present, but he wasn't, like, up in your business. Okay. At least not that we could tell. At least, yeah, he wasn't at least, like, outwardly paying attention to you. Okay. Like I said, my character is pissed off. Just uh, out of her to say. I it's totally, totally, totally understandable. Yeah, dude, we get it. Alright, um, the Egyptian Museum is a one-story stone building. Um, not much in the way of, like, windows. But there are, like, um, slits that give it the appearance of, like, a uh, European castle that do let light in. Um, it's on the, it's almost overlooking the bank of the, one of the banks of the Nile. And there is a sign outside that says museum. <sighs> you do see people wow. walking in and out. Wow. If I didn't see the fucking sign with museum, I thought it was a fucking shithole. Oh. Wow. That's fucking good. I don't care. Uh, um, inside the museum are various artifacts um, that harken back to different periods of Egyptian history. Um, crowds of adults and kids look around 
while there, it, you do notice a um, short, thin, older man standing in the center of the room, watching with like a smile on his face. Uh, does he look like he's Egyptian or European? Or maybe he, somewhere else? He looks like he's Egyptian. Okay. Does he look like a pedophile more? That's the better question. What? <laughs> Interesting question. Are there elementary schools nearby? Is that why you're <laughs> asking? Uh, they just came out of nowhere. <laughs> okay, um, uh, I don't know about don't the others, but, uh, but the pastor's probably going to ignore that uh, that smiling man. Instead, he's a. Uh, I, I actually, I didn't say that as a character. It, it's okay, yeah. Uh, he's going to ask uh, Slim um, if he could find out for us uh, where the uh, where the section of ancient Egypt is, specifically the third dynasty. Slim nods and walks up to like um, information booth and talks to a woman sitting there. And has a brief presentation before he returns. And he says, Dr. Kafur is able to help with everything. Dr. Kafur, okay. Great. A and where is Dr. Kafur? And Salim walks towards the uh, short, thin, older man in the middle of the room. Ah. Ah. Okay. I'll follow. He's standing with his arms behind his back, just smiling and watching as all the kids look around. Huh. He looks funny. Shit, there was an elementary school. <laughs> Um, excuse me, sir. Oh. Sorry. How may I help you? <laughs> um, don't worry. Uh, you seem very, uh, very happy seeing, uh, those kids wandering around, uh, Egyptian, in the Egyptian, uh, oh. history. Yes, it <laughs> always pleases my eyes to see kids relishing history. Hmm. Hmm. I get why. Um, anyway, we do have a question for you. Okay. We asked uh, that, I think that was a woman. Uh, we asked a woman over there. Oh, yes. Uh, about the third dynasty in particular. And she oh. told us that uh, you were the person, uh, the person right for the job. That's well. It's Not uh, much is known about the third dynasty, I can tell you that much. But I'll help yeah. you when I can. Okay, maybe uh, certain information will help you. Uh, could you um, lead us to a, to a room, maybe an, an office? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm just uh, very, very cautious, cautious in the in the Please. last couple of weeks. Uh, follow me, and he leads you away from all the main displays to like a more private area. Um, and there's a room that has a little plaque with his name. Next to the doorway. Okay. It looks like a, it's an office with um, some books in it, a desk with papers. Okay. I think um, as we all take a seat, uh, Joseph is then saying, "Okay, so um, the thing why we're here is, uh, well, I told you it was about the Third Dynasty. Um, in particular, it's, it's not." Uh, something very historic it's more a question uh of belief if a legend or folklore is true uh, because that apparently there was a, a person in egypt known as he, he looks around if he's um if he's watched by someone a black pharaoh oh huh yes well Let's think about it. 
there are a lot of stories in history. You can't take everything at face value, especially when it's so old. Sure, yes. Um, and what we do, uh, but what we did find out about the the Black Pharaoh is that the Black Pharaoh actually, oh, the Black Pharaoh, as uh, people know him, actually consists of two people. First one being an actual pharaoh, and the second one, an outlandish. In our language, it would be sorcerer. That makes some sense. Um. Third dynasty. Um, he sits on his desk and like rubs his chin. Not a lot of research has been done on that time period. Um, I do know that there is one thing currently going on that has had some uh, interest in that time period. Um, really? Yes. <laughs> Um, I don't know, have you ever heard of the Penny Foundation before? We've That's heard that it. That we have, actually. Um, yeah. In connection with, um, oh, what was his name? Carlisle, the Carlisle Expedition? Oh, yes. yeah. Well, the Carlisle Expedition... Have you come across them? They came here. Um, I haven't speak to them myself. They had a different, uh, a different guide, someone else to help them while they were in the area. But they didn't share anything that they discovered when they were here. Um, currently, the Penn Hugh Foundation has an uh, expedition here um, just outside of Cairo that unearthed a uh, sarcophagus that was hidden in a chamber in Giza. Huh. Is there any chance to, uh, is there any chance to, to see the sarcophagus or to uh, get close to the location where it's prepared? Unfortunately, the sarcophagus was stolen. The sort. entire sarcophagus, the entire, I don't know how, how, how heavy are those, the entire 400 kilogram thing it was stolen. Yeah, Probably it was, more than that. Everything more. was stolen, there were some deaths. Um, at least one archaeologist killed, several laborers killed. Um, the dig itself, they moved out of the area. As someone who is uh, particularly interested in the in the ancient Egypt history, would you have a clue which person, or probably which kind of group, would actually steal an entire sarcophagus filled with, filled with a corpse for their own businesses? Well, there are all kinds of people in this world. All Necromancers, their... necrophiliacs. Thank yeah, you, Jack. They all have their crazy ideas about, and I'm sure there's some story that they heard and they thought, oh, well, I could steal, a, try to steal a mummy out of a museum or I can steal one out of a campsite. You know, mm. you know these kids, the kids these days. Really, it's amazes me sometimes. Damn teenagers! <laughs> may I, if, if that's not too private, may I ask you of uh, personal assumptions who you would uh, um, convict for, for this or who would you think is uh, most likely to be responsible? It doesn't have to be uh, based on facts, just, just your personal opinion on that. Well, if you want my opinion <sighs> based on my own personal grievances and hatreds towards certain individuals there is a businessman here in Cairo 
Of course. Who would be able to afford the thieves. Name Omar Al Shakti. Wait, how do you know the thieves' names? Oh, I don't know the thief's name. I know the businessman's name. Oh, and you're assuming he... Okay. And look, I'm uh. not saying that he did anything with it, but... It was just most likely. He's the kind of man who will sell off antiquities for a profit. Uh-huh. Do you know more information about this? Businessman. Uh, he's got a plantation south of the city. Of course he has. Of course. I don't know a whole lot about him. Has some, had some dealings with the, uh, different interests off seas, I would guess. Uh, can I make we a could always pay him a visit. Can I make a psychology roll on him to see if he's actually thinking he's he did, or does he have a personal grudge on him and just trying to push it on someone else? Okay, you can make that. <coughs> All right, Joseph, you can tell that Doctor Crawford does not like Omar. Al Shakti. Um, okay, and but while there's no hard evidence to suggest that there's a link there, Keffer thinks it's more than coincidence. All right, okay. what about me with my barely success? Yeah, he's not deceiving you or anything. Yeah. More of is there something he's not telling us? No, not that you can tell. Okay. So, um, in general, there, there is some kind of uh, personal bias against him, but uh, he really thinks that uh, this person is most likely to be the one. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh um, is there any uh, special way to get in contact with that, uh, Omar? Or can we just, uh, just walk up to him and, uh, ask him some questions? Well, I mean, I suppose you could always go to his plantation, um, talk to him, if he'll talk with you. I guess he's a busy man, and he holds his fingers as he was, um, symbolizing quotation marks. Yes. Busy man. Real busy. Ah. No. Okay. What about you guys? Do you have any further, further questions? Let's just go and find fucking place we are gonna be staying. Language. In, that, in which case, and, thank you, and look like a four for your information. It was, uh, it was helpful. Yes, thank you, sir. Of course. If there's anything I can help you with, please don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> I hope you meet again. Alright, who is the last person to leave the office? Not me. Uh, shall we just roll a d4? I was just going to ask that. <laughs> the fourth in line would be Joseph. Uh, oh, it's Dr. Grant. <coughs> so, yeah, apparently. Okay. You already rolled. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay, uh. Yeah, due to that, we all just teleport somewhere, and we're fine. <laughs> Alright, Harold, you're the last person to leave the room. 
which I apparently can't <laughs> count on everybody to make their own individual rolls. I had the roll. <laughs> Harold, you can make a spot hidden check as you're leaving the room. Ooh. As you all are out of the room, you can, out of the corner of your eyes, see Dr. Carrefour reaching for his telephone and beginning to dial somebody. Of course. I'd listen, but it would be in Arabic. Hmm. Uh, as we're leaving, I'll tell the guys that I saw him making a phone call and uh, we'll wonder um, who's going to be waiting for us. Can we just, uh, just uh, listen to him or would that be too obvious? Um, not necessarily too obvious, but certainly probably pointless. Probably, unless we have Salim with us. Salim's in the inside of the museum. He's not in the office. Oh, okay. okay. I think then, just leave and to uh, see what's happening at the plant, the plantation. I will try to actually listen, sort okay. of uh, stealthily, but still try. Right. Okay, make a listen roll. Probably fail. Yep. Yeah, you don't get a good listen. Yeah. Then I go back to to them and say, "No, nah, couldn't hear. I think." Well, that's fine. I mean, what's going to happen? We're going to be shot on sight. Why did you just call it out? <laughs> I wouldn't rely on on being safe. <clears throat> I kind of think Jack would just turn around and shoot him in the head, but nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Like I don't want I don't want to be ambushed. I'm just going to kill him just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think not. Please not. No, I'm not going to. I just I I think Jack would would want to. <laughs> You blow him up. Okay, um, I think the plantation should be fairly large. So, uh, is it anywhere marked on the map where the plantation um, would be? Do we have a map? On roll 20, there's a map. But I was I... more asking, I like characters. Oh, you um would be able to ask Salim to... <laughs> you know, because Salim directly yes. translates... Okay. Trans directly translates to navi navigation GPS. Exactly. <laughs> there is no. Well, it's not marked on the map. It's not marked. No. no. So it's not a. It's not a big one. Or it's just not not marked. It's just not marked. It's just not marked. Do you know uh, something about uh, that plantation of Mister? Uh, Al Shati. You want to go there? I mean, well, that's what our choice we got. Our businesses will eventually lead to that plantation. I mean, it's not like we don't. Have, we ha it's not like we have. We don't have a place to go, right? After where we can sleep, like it didn't explode right now. Not sure. Yeah. It that didn't happen at all. That our hotel just, I don't know, exploded out, out of nowhere. And we now have, now have no place to sleep. Hmm, I wonder. Doctor, while I am a pastor, I'm not some kind of psychic. Please, elaborate your point. Uh, maybe we Great idea to look where we could stay. I, I just wonder, wouldn't be this a good idea, really? Hmm. Hmm. Thanks to be annoying, annoying as possible. 
although I very dislike your recent cynical behavior, behavior, you got a point. First, we need to look for another hotel, and probably um, get some false names as well. We just need to put in a false name. They're not going to require too much documentation. <coughs> we can also just go camping for a month down the river and wait for my boat to be finished. Actually, that um, maybe it would be a good idea. I don't uh, know if, if uh, that thing would give us a month. But we, we would need to hide, need to find a place where we can make a camp, make a hidden camp, you know what I mean. Just hidden place. Obvious to look for and yeah. We should just go to the West Bank in the wadis down there. There's uh, a billion caves. They'll never be able to find us. Oh, is there now? Huh. Sh you know what, sure, let's, let's try it. I'd rather alive in a fucking cave than dead, I guess. Has, has Tutankhamun's tomb been discovered yet? Yes. Because that was the 1920s by Carter, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Um... Yeah, that's why it took so long to find Tut's tomb. There's just so many damn caves and shit that uh, they they searched a million of them and they still don't find anything. Yeah, before we actually we can buy, you know, just the sleeping bags and everything up later. Yeah, let's just find the first the place first. Alright, um, Selim tells you how to get to Al Shakti's plantation. It's basically just you have to cross to the west side of the Nile and then head south. Cute. He says it's hard to miss. Hmm. Cute. Thanks, man. Huh. Now let's let's find out ourselves some beautiful cave. Shall we, yep. gentlemen? Well, the cave is certainly That's better than sleeping somewhere else. So yes. Okay. Um. Can you guys make luck rolls? Fuck. Luck roll. Oh yeah, my favorite type of skill. <laughs> Damn it! Can Let's I use a health point. point to make no, a luck? You can't. Damn it! <laughs> we can't fight the proper cave. You guys for wander for hours before you find what you believe is a cave. <laughs> it's, more, it's more of like a uh, rock outcropping that provides a little shelter. That works. Oh god! But at really this point, it's anymore. like two in the morning, and you can make listen rolls. Uh huh. Yeah, of course. I'm the only one who just okay. Hear For all of you that made it, you hear the beating of drums. Like what? drums or war drums? Um, not like war drums, like... I don't know how to describe it. But you, you hear it like like a parade drum. Parade, okay. Um, Joseph, you also are able to hear voices over the drum beats. And it sounds like chanting. Chanting in what kind of language? Uh, you Arabic. don't know. You don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's Arabic. Do you hear that? And Joseph just... is actually standing up and uh, and uh, is trying to get a closer look on them. Not not like 
directly approaching, but uh, from a certain distance, um, um, just overviewing. Probably them. about a mile and a half away, you can see a string of torchlights. Hmm. Looks like a, a long group of people are moving from south to north. Ha. Uh. It's more uh, like a celebration, right? You're not entirely sure, but it's a parade. Yeah, I'm not sure, people. It's it's a parade, and uh, people have, from uh, from where we are now, is does it look like they are uh, just uh, enjoying what they are doing, or are they doing some uh, some ritual? Um, it, if you had to guess, you can make an intelligence roll. <laughs> you would guess that it's a ritual of some sort? Of course it is. And... Though you're not entirely sure, you're guessing that the parade is headed towards the Giza Pyramids. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. What's up? Uh, there are some ritualistic people walking up. Uh, chaos. Of course they are. Of course. Ah, uh, but they don't. They don't notice us yet, right? No, no. Uh, it, it doesn't seem like. It doesn't seem like. I mean, we are fairly. Uh, we keep a certain distance from them. So it's very unlikely. I don't believe they have some kind of eagle-ish eyes. No, they did not see yeah. us. The only reason you're able to see them, Joseph, is because of the torches. That they're carrying. There's no other external illumination. Okay. Except that dark as fuck. Basically. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna try Still and follow fun. them. Still fucking And I'm following, uh, following Jack. Doctor, are you able to come with us? We are gonna stay with her out here. Okay, uh, then I'm following I'm you, Jack. Going Jack! <laughs> Say again. <laughs> okay, I'm going we'll with Jack! Okay. You're uh, welcome to come with this Doctor. Oh, cute, you're, you're his dog, right, of course. I will stay and guard, 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 guard our staff. Also, Doctor, I gotta be honest with you, by now your stomach should be empty. Yeah, Dr. Graham, you can make a constitution check. Why did I say that? <laughs> Why did I say- Why? <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, waiting on you. Alright, Dr. Graham, you are- while you're not throwing up anymore, you're extremely exhausted. Ugh, Jesus. Oh, God. I am, um, I'm staying here. Uh, um, Jesus. Ugh, fuck. No, you're definitely not Jesus. Fuck. He died 2,000 years ago. Fuck off, will ya? I am. I God that out. damn it, tired. I am not going anywhere. If, if you are so li like a burning people, then go for fuck's sake. All right, you were able to speak uh, to speak Latin or to li understand Latin. Is that correct? I can speak Latin. Yeah, I, I mean the ones who are trying to follow. One of you were capable of speaking yeah. Latin, right? And okay. Greek. And Greek. Okay, <coughs> even better. In which case, I'll be staying here with the doctor. Not like it's not like he's going to be dying soon, but uh, I mean, you it can would hope. be unfair. It would be unfair to just leave me alone. You go uh, figure out what they are talking about, and if it's Latin, I think that will turn out to the best, but uh, I assume it's not. So I won't be of any use anyway. Also, I do not own any gun. I think it's the only logical way that uh, I stay here. If something's happening, just uh, shoot in the air three times. We're all suppressed, but sure. Um, I'm gonna have my rifle for me with this. Ooh. I am. I'm not sort of uh, 
I'm hesitant to which can give to to Pastor, and I'm just gonna give her over here. You point, you shoot. Pull, pull the trigger. Got it. Let's uh, let me just go sleep now. Uh, and after sort of I end the web gun to Pastor, I go to sleep. Start immediately pass out. Sort of. I mean, can I make an intelligence roll to see if the if the doctor is actually safe? If we would leave him alone here? Yes. <laughs> okay. Just one word. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Okay, he's safe. He's good. We just execute him before we leave. <laughs> Of course you are. Can you, can you at least try, Doctor, to uh, to cover behind some, some rock? Multiple rocks. He can't hear you. He is sleeping. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 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 yes. Income. You know what? Um, I, have, I have a hat with me. I just put that out on the Doctor. So, uh, I've, I mean, it's, it's still obvious that there's someone sleeping on the ground, but at least uh, no, no one sees his face and probably think he's homeless. Yes, I'm hurt. I'm not homeless. Perfect sleeping sense. on the ground in the middle of a fucking canyon with a hat on his face and people won't think he's homeless? This, yes, exactly. That's great logic, Buster. My covering up uh, skill just failed, but uh, I think it's fine. <laughs> just pile a load of sand over the top of him. <laughs> we just kick sand on him. <laughs> it's fine. Hopefully he'll desiccate. I know you're trying to make him look better, but it's just, it's not going to happen. It's just the doctor. <laughs> oh, that was rude. That was genuinely rude. Yeah, but he's asleep. It, I'm not. Going to, I'm not going to argue with that. No, no. You got a. You got a point, though. Uh, <laughs> so who is going at to follow the pretty people? Everyone uh, except me. Two ex-soldiers yes. and the pastor. Okay. <laughs> oh, don't flatter yourself, Harold. <laughs> no, nah, he was a soldier. Yeah. He was? Okay. Yeah, I served in uh, Belgium, uh, in France. What did you do, cook? I thought you were an anthropolog anthropologist. <laughs> <laughs> an anthropologist? Uh, so, uh, so activated. <laughs> yeah, uh, Sorry. Sorry. What, I, uh, what I really thought. I think you mentioned anthro anthropology somewhere. And that doesn't mean I can't serve in uh, in the army. That was actually fairly common back then. I did not question that. Okay. Yeah, even though the uh, Americans were late coming into the war, as usual. Yeah. Hey, man, Americans get there eventually. But no, like the war office would very often hire. Um, anthropologists and archaeologists to be spies uh, in sort of hostile territory while they're doing their digs. Okay, in that case, okay, there are two soldiers and a pacifist pastor. Almost pacifist. Uh, you guys... Formally pacifist. You guys follow also, at he's a distance. He's also a soldier, though. So, do no, I mean, he's stuck. Uh, no, he was. He was. Yeah, you know, never mind. You guys are able Shut to up. follow at a distance. Um, but as you keep him like about half a mile away from the parade, you notice that people are stopping at like some indiscriminate location and are forming like a half circle. As the drum beats increasing in speed um, and the chanting is getting louder. 
they are speaking Arabic, don't they? They are speaking a language that Joseph does not understand. It's Arabic, okay. Uh, okay, um, I don't know what the others do, but I'm just going to observe what's, what's going on. Alright, um, as the chanting is going, you see a single figure in the middle of the half circle who has his back to you. He's not holding a torch or anything. Um, robes are obscuring his total figure. Uh, but he appears to be saying something. You're too far away to tell what he's mumbling. Basically, what he's whispering under his breath. Okay. So I think that's um, that's either a cultist leader or a similar position uh, to a priest. And he's giving a speech to his to his people, so nothing out of the unusual, um, except for night time and starting for the pyramid. I don't know what you think, but but up until now, despite being in the middle of the night, right in front of the, the greatest pyramids in all of human history, there's nothing out of the unusual here. I need the three one of the three of you to either make intelligence rolls or natural world rolls. Yeah, it's going definitely going to be intelligence. It's going to be natural rolls. For sure. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you're you're stupid, Doctor, that's why. I mean, not Doctor Bust. You just insulted yourself. <laughs> yeah, I just did. It's because you're confused, okay? And tired. Oh, obviously tired. Yeah, it's the right. uh, second. Jack and Harold, you have a uh, suspicion that there's a reason why that the parade stopped where it did. Uh, as you look around for some sort of identifying mark. Harold, your eyes drift up to the moon. Moon! And now they turn... Moon, moon! And now they turn into werewolves. Okay, I'll uh, take a bearing Fuck on yeah. the uh, moon. Um, from, from <laughs> your current position and the way that they're looking, it is almost directly to the west of them. Navigate. Your navigation is sh quite shite. Or so as you can guess. Right. Hey, uh, hey. I think I'll do the same. Buy a compass. What are you guys yeah. doing? Yeah, you think it's to the west? <laughs> Vestor is like, what the fuck are you doing, guys? Um, for me, it's just two people looking <laughs> up in the air. Like, I'll um, draw an arrow in the sand in front of me, pointing <laughs> towards where that where they are, and roughly where the moon is. And ambush tactics like we are going to go from the left and the right, and yeah, from above. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, what kind of moon is it? It is almost full. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm, what did you expect? Today is going to be green moon. So at least it's not full, um, so it's not a particular, si particularly significant phase of the moon. Yeah. Just a couple of days off. Yeah, and the arrows you marked in, in, the, in the ground, were there uh, orders to move somewhere else, or were there just markings that you were uh, looking yeah. at the moon? No, it's just so it, uh, we can wait here, and when they wander off, we can follow to where they were. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they don't seem to be moving or anything, although the chanting is completely stopped. What are they uh, exactly doing? I mean, they're not just standing there and staring each other in the eyes. 
while all the um, cult members are standing there and staring in silence while the hooded figure in the middle is saying something. Of okay. course he please saying something. <laughs> it, it would be a boring party then if he didn't say something. Yeah, um, Joseph, you would wreck it. You would make the connection that the uh, speaker is like a priest. Yeah, okay. That's why, why, why what I was uh, assuming in the first place. He's stealing your job, man. Go kill him. How far away are they from us right now? Um, you're about a half mile away or so. Not an impression okay, shot I'm gonna... for a good sniper. <laughs> uh, no, it's not, and I've got a. I would uh, have a scope on my Mauser. Um, uh, I'm gonna yeah, let's just you get guys. It up, let's get closer, though. Okay. So, making best use of the terrain, we'll uh, try and get closer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a good word. <laughs> All right. Um, you are able to move closer. Um, you're still out of earshot from the cult leader. But you're a lot closer to where they were. To where they are right now. Okay. Uh, how far in, like, meters? Um, at this point, you're probably able to move within 100 meters. Okay, yeah, that's easy shot. Um, I'm gonna lay Wait, down on prone. And, and just take a stable, now. stable firing position. Oh, you're just gonna start opening fire? <laughs> Wait, did uh -oh. the pastor just say he was gonna start shooting? Oh, I, I, was, I was not. <laughs> so okay. he was, yes. Okay, okay. Was, yeah, I'm was. gonna take aim, but not start shooting yet. Yet. But well soon. I mean, would for you... fuck's sake, there is a priest that steal his job. Yeah, I mean, would you would you shoot me if I would uh, hold a session right now? Maybe. Yeah, I'm talking to Jack, not you. <laughs> I, I was just... This often started attracting attention, quite possibly. Uh, more of, I assume, they're cultists. And uh, I want to be prepared in case they find us and start attacking us. If they find us, if we stay, if it, we stay covered, like now, it should be, it should be fine. Just tell me if you see something, uh, something significant uh, through your scope. Um. Yeah. Through the scope, I'm gonna glass the area to see if I see them doing anything, sacrificing anybody, any anything interesting. Um, you see that nothing seems to be going on, like, sacrifice-wise, but the uh, cult leader is standing there with his arms spread, and he's wearing a mask to obscure his face. What does the mask look like, Jack? I will describe the mask. If you had to, from your own experiences... You'd say it looks like the mask of a lion. It's a lion. A, li a lion? I mean, Yalata may take on several forms, but most. why would you choose a lion? I, mean, I don't know. Not, I mean, cats were pretty common in the Egypt. Cats are awesome, that's why. <laughs> yeah, cats are awesome, I know, but... Why, why is he wearing a mask? Not sure. Should we kill uh, everyone we... and ask him? Or <laughs> just follow them to wherever they're going next? I mean, I, I, I don't know. He probably likes lying ink. Lying. Lying. Good job. He, he oh, got so on. mad he left. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> just, just a thought just, uh, just my mind. Jack, could you please uh, scope out the other cultists to see if there are other cats in the 
Uh, I I will do so after shooting the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you just do a hundred eighty. I just turn around and just let loose. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, I'm sorry. I'm are sorry. any of the rest of them wearing masks or like hooded robes or anything like that? Or any cat uh, symbol? You don't notice any other cat symbols. It looks like only the leader is wearing the mask. I don't really have a good view on anybody else. I don't see any other cat symbols, though. I think it isn't taught in the, uh, at that time in school that uh, uh, what kind of goddesses or uh, gods the Egypts worshipped. So can I make an intelligence roll to see if I can make a connection to the cats and Egypt? Yeah. There's only okay. one god that you can think of um, that's a relationship between cats and Egypt, and that's Bast. You heard of uh, a goddess called Bast? Not not like Bastard, I mean Bast. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of Bast. Fem she was female. She was a cat. Could this be a... Uh, 3,000 years late, but... Could this be a cult dedicated to her? I mean, if if they do, I, awesome. I, I haven't heard anything bad about Bast. You guys can make an occult roll. Occult? Sure. Probably not. Alright. Harold, Very nice, Harold. Barely, in like the back of your mind, you remember that the call of Bast went nearly extinct. Um, it's uh, Bast isn't really worshipped much by people, um, but uh, chances are that there are priests and priestesses around. More likely priestesses, um, because Bast was a goddess. Um, I'll ask Jack if the uh, figure wearing the lion mask is, is male or female. And also, is the uh, lion mask male or female? Uh, Jack, you would say that the uh, figure, while the most of the form is obscured, you would guess is a man, and the mask is that of a male lion. It looks male, uh, but hot. it's still 100 meters away through a scope, so who knows? Out of character, I'm going to make a call right now. I assume... Uh, although um, it would look to Jack right now that uh, it's male, I'm assuming that this person is either Sarah Shafiq or she's related to her at some in some way. Uh, would you tell Jack that in character? No, uh, just a, that's just an out of character assumption. I think Joseph would not uh, okay. jump to that conclusion right now. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad thought, but I, we haven't heard from Zara Shafiq since uh, we left from London, have we? At least I don't. You don't believe maybe, uh, maybe Francesca has in the uh, French embassy. <laughs> but I think not. I don't think Sarah is capable of speaking baguette. But as anyway. the priest and uh, the mask appear to be male, I don't think this is related to Bast at all. It's still quite odd to me. I mean, that make it, makes it even more odd than before. Okay, um, I think we're just going to op continue observing. Alright, um, as you watch, the priest turns his back to you and draws a rectangle in the sky 
and it almost like looks like a door opens and he steps through and disappears. What the fuck? <laughs> and all the cultists just sort of drift away. Back in the direction they had come from. Does the door stay or does it disappear? It disappears as soon as he goes through it. <laughs> Damn. Like, What's that light? Uh, yeah, he was like, fuck this, I'm leaving. <laughs> Jack, why, um, why are they parting? The, uh, the, the dude with the mask just disappeared into a doorway to nowhere? I am confused. Let's me, Jack, kill a up. bunch of them and take one hostage and question him. Jack, <laughs> Jack, could you please breathe in the direction of me? Have you drunk? Have you drink, drunk anything since we uh, we left this city? Um, you see me subtly put a flask away. No. <laughs> 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 I mean, you, you just told me there is a man, and then he steps to a, to a door, which isn't there, and he's, he's gone. And we've talked through yeah. a fucking mirror. Give me a break. Um, yeah. That mirror. <laughs> he has a point. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's still a door. I mean, there isn't even a room behind that. The mirror, I... Maybe could assume a mirror has a occult relation since it's existed, but there's yeah. a door. It's it's a big door. Be like a it, dimension it be... door. I don't know. But to which dimension? And what kind of dimension? What what dimension should it be? Hell? Purgatory? Do I look like a physicist? No. I, all I know is a door-like thing opened up behind him. He stepped through it, and then it disappeared. Ah. Uh... Great. So let's catch one of these assholes and figure out just what the hell is going on. They're moving towards you, so the distance is lessening. Uh, okay. All of them, or just a couple? All of them. The prey's basically reformed and is heading back the exact way it came. Which is in the okay. direction you are. Okay. Wait, what? You should, you should run, probably. Are they- wait, what are they doing? Huh. The cults are passing, parting ways, and... We are right in the spot where... It felt like 90% of them will walk by. Oh. Because... Fuck off. Yes. <laughs> okay, um, are we taking our leave, or should we stay? And get weird looks while we are laying down here, and do you have a rifle out? Let's get off the path and see where they go. If anyone strags, uh, lags behind, we can take that one. Okay, you guys should... can make a luck roll. Of course you can. You want to torture me, right? <laughs> I don't remember actually being able to recover any uh, luck after New York or London. You guys yeah. did. I only gained did. one point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it does this is appear, awesome. It doesn't appear to be any stragglers. Because fuck you, that's fine. <laughs> uh, <all right. laughs> yeah, they're moving as one group. Is there, and how many of them are there? there? Um, if you had to guess, a couple dozen. Hmm. I don't have that much. Take on. I don't have that much bullets. <laughs> Twelve rounds, rapid fire. No one's going to shoot. <laughs> For frick's sake. Yeah, let's let them. Oh. Let's get out of the way and let them pass. Come on, they are just civilians. <laughs> Come on, Buster. They are just oh, civilians. When you're the one who Actually, have we seen any weapons? Well, that's a good point. Um, you never well, noticed. At them. You never noticed any okay. weapons. You just noticed the drums and the torches. Okay. Um, so I assume a couple of them were carrying drums. 
Yeah, there were there were probably uh, if you figure there were maybe some, almost thirty of them. You figure there may be like six or seven drums, and then twice as many torches. Are they all hooded? Um, as far as you can tell, yeah. They're either wearing hoods or they're wearing turbans that are obscuring most of their face. It's... Okay. Elsa would have said that uh, I would try and, and recognize that these are faces. I'll point out that all the cultists seem to have been male. That's even more weird. Why? Oh. Again, because... Because Bast is female, and her cultists are, I would assume, a female as well. If the priestesses are, there's a good chance uh, a large proportion of the of the cultists are as well. Cute, real cute. Maybe. Um. So. We just want to get out of the way. Then we'll try and scramble away as best we can. All right, yeah, let's let's slowly get out of the way before they get too close. Can the three of you make deck, uh, stealth rolls? <laughs> oh, thank God! Oh, fuck off! Oh! oh. oh. Ah. Ah. You get an instant bonus, yay! Hooray! Fausto disappeared, they, he just disappeared. He just opened a dimensional door and disappeared. <laughs> he, he used dimension door too, he's like, if he can do it, so can I! Dimension door. I am, I am pleased for fuck's sake, I can do this shit too. <laughs> I am going to, uh, with that critical role, say that you're able to help Harold get out of the way and hidden before any of the cultists are able to see you. Okay. Back in my days, I used to hide from uh, the bad priests. You know what I say. Um. <laughs> used to hiding from the priests when you were an altar boy, so you're really good at it. Again, <laughs> I was a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible joke, also. <laughs> so all the uh, cultists pass without any notice of you, and after about 15 minutes, they're more than 100 yards the opposite direction. <laughs> okay. If we want to open fire, now's the time, because we've got their back and we've got surprise. Yeah, we got surprise and we got first degree murder. In the middle of fucking nowhere with a cult, what are they gonna do? Call the police? Oh no, I don't know. Yeah, he's just, yeah, he's just gonna call out, pick up the phone. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, 911, no. what was the emergency? I tell you what, <laughs> I tell you what, Jack, you may aim at them, but if you were really going to take a shot, you have to shoot me first. Right through the heart. I hope that will be a musical reference in the future. Uh, Jake is just gonna be like, and okay. I'm to blame. <laughs> it's okay, Pastor. You gave love a bad name. <laughs> so, Jack. What are your thoughts? Are you going to shoot me and the cultists? Or just, are you going to leave it? As it is now. Let's leave it. There's okay. there's enough of them that it would be problematic even if we didn't uh, even if they all were unarmed which I wouldn't believe in a heart at all. <laughs> he just doesn't mention that. He's just like, yeah, yeah, there could be unarmed, right? But but about to still be like, but what about me? I don't care about you. <laughs> yeah, what about you? Okay, uh, I think we'll have to be... shield for a reason, Pastor. So, <laughs> as the group of cultists turns and starts heading south, the three of you guys go back to your little makeshift camp and uh, sleeping Dr. Graham. Yeah. Okay. I'm just... 
I'm just beautiful butterfly evolving. <laughs> okay, I think we're going beautiful to Beautiful and butterfly, both words I wouldn't use to describe Dr. Granum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I think we uh, get some rest now and uh, the next the next in game day uh, we should uh, either head back to the library or make uh, otherwise some kind of research on uh, on Bast uh, if it's really uh, possible that uh, there are male priestesses or if is there any kind of restriction. Jake or her is just got them just like. What do you mean by in game day? <laughs> <laughs> We're all in the in God's game. <laughs> That's shit. <laughs> I have to get an, an answer somehow. That's fine. Oh, uh, so yeah, we'll take it. We'll go back. Um, uh, I'll, I'll. Jack would advocate just waiting out in the in this wadi for a little while to just let everything die down in the city before we head back in? Unfortunately, we cannot uh, make the, the dying out process uh, make it faster. We don't have enough Molotovs for that. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, we don't. Exactly. <laughs> we hit oh, up yeah. a liquor store. Yes. But yeah, what, what can I tell? I'm sleeping. Alright, uh, when okay. the three of you guys got back to your little camp, it was already like, a few hours before dawn. Um. So you can decide what you want to do from then. First off, we should all sleep. And yep. then second, uh, Jack would advocate for just waiting the day in the shade there. Uh, or maybe searching for a better cave in the light. If yep. we should probably do this. Okay. Okay, for the... Next day, are we uh, instantly searching for another cave or another hideout, or are we first uh, doing our business in town? Uh, let's just first hide a cave. Find okay. a cave, yeah. Find a cave. I'm not good at this. I mean, it makes sense. I can, you know, I can butch, I can butch your, your body and get it uh, back <coughs> up and running, but. Fucking case, what do you want from me? <laughs> okay, Herbert West. Alright, after a little bit of searching, you find a cave. Now that it's light out, you're able to actually see that it's a cave and not something that just seems to be a cave. And the cave is certainly not uh, within range of the pyramids. No, you can't see the pyramids like or Cairo from the cave. Yeah, you know, no, we're on the other side of the river. Yeah, you're far enough away where you can't see anything. Oh, cool. Yeah, that that cave, that, that before that was a joke. This is actual cave. I mean, it would be quite funny to uh, think, A, we found a cave, and then uh, several minutes later we find out we are in the tomb of a pharaoh. <laughs> See, that's a luck roll right there. <laughs> None of you have that much luck. Damn it! If I, I got a critical on that, would it have been a pharaoh's tomb? Probably not. Challenge. Damn it. <laughs> you know what? Challenge accepted. Damn it. <laughs> Spend some luck. I have six luck. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, you guys sleep for the entire morning and into the early afternoon. The next day. After we find the cave? Well, makes sense. Well, after you find the cave, yeah. Okay, uh, after we uh, awakened, uh, I would try to find uh, 
uh, Salim again. Okay. Um, it'll take you a little bit of searching, but you're mm-hmm. able to find him. Okay. Uh, Salim, uh, may I ask you a question? Yes. Um, the day yet of yesterday, mm-hmm. was that uh, a certain... I, I want to say celebration day or any kind of uh, f- uh, festival day, but is there something celebrated um, yesterday? Is there a special date in Egypt culture? No. Of course. Not even in, in ancient Egypt degrees? I don't think so. Hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry to ask you such such weird question. It was a stressful day for everybody. Oh, yes, yes. I assume so. Yes. Good. Yeah. So, should we, uh, should we visit uh, Dr. Kafur again and tell him what uh, we saw? Or should we head to the plantation? Or should we, should we research more about Bast first? And what? Let's research a bit more about Bast. Well, let's go and see Doc, uh, Professor Kafur, because he'll probably know more about, you know, be able to tell us more about Bast or identify uh, gods that may have worn or whose priests may have used uh, lion masks. Okay, uh, I think we would be more efficient if we split up into two groups. One group should uh, research on Bast and one walks up to Mr. Kafur. Oh, I should mention, uh, if someone asks you about a man called Joseph Myers, you don't know that person. And you are not called uh, as you're being called right now, right? Uh, of Could course I- not. We, we only know a person named... Uh, I don't kill people. people. I do Pastor anyways. Jenkins. I'm Pastor Jenkins, yes. If someone asks, you know Jenkins, but not uh, Joseph Myers. Just so you know, he w- is going to say he's from the MI6, but he looks a bit shady. Oh. That's so question it. Is it. What? Your name's John Jenkins, is it? John Jenkins, of course, yes. Okay, John don't Jenkins, you. Jingleheimer Schmidt. The donkey on the end. Don't compare me to that German scum. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. Just one okay. person realized it. <laughs> At least from the sound of uh, laughing. It's okay, I got it. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, me, Jack, uh, Harold, uh, Pester, maybe, groups, what do you uh, say? Uh, who's better at research, because Jack has nothing in library use. I have 75, but I fail anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I have 20! Yeah, I'll fail too. <laughs> Oh, Harold, Harold, how much do you have? Um, seventy-ish. <laughs> okay. Okay, so why don't we just take two days? One spent at the library, and one spent at uh, this dude's house. I mean, we can, because I believe that, and he's uh, going to fool around a bit uh, with with his arms. That ghostly man who walks into another dimension. Is uh, probably going to come back. I, uh, I just wrong. look at, I, I just look at first, still like, he <laughs> you. Or, all right, you you weren't there. Or did we, did we tell him? Did we tell him what we see, or do we find? Yeah, I think we would have told him eventually. Okay, so at least you know what what's up. Okay, well, that would be very awkward. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, that happens every day, I know it. I, I mean, I... We had a massive orgy on top of your body while you were asleep. 
<laughs> okay, I don't speak English. <laughs> you okay. might want to wash up. <laughs> yeah, that was a lie. I just look at you and I like. You're sick and but curious, but curious. No, I'm tired and the trigger happy. That's a good omen, isn't it? Okay, um... So we... Are we doing this on uh, three separate dates? The three events, or are we parting our ways? Uh, this I mean, for a temporary time? I would say we'd all, we should all stick together. Yeah... <coughs> splitting up is a bad idea. Oh wait, a better idea. We can... Do one... We can go to one place... And then wait a week, and then go to the other place after a week because yeah. Why wait a week? Run down the clock on the month of my houseboat being built, so we then have a mobile place to go. Yes. Also, we don't. We want not want to stick out out of the play out of the city as much as possible, not while to bring I'm attention. While I'm okay with um. Doing the three days principle as Jack just uh, described, waiting a week, I would be entire week, I would be against it. I get the feeling that even though the moon wasn't full, it was it almost was, and I think there is a something big going on on full moon. It always has been in uh, in ancient times. Yeah, so I, would, I, I would just do uh, three days in total for all the three events instead of waiting an entire week we could also wait here to see if the guy comes back on the night of the full moon uh, not we don't want to bring attention yeah sure we don't want to bring attention but if that guy comes back i at least want to be informed what what the hell was going on with him i mean we know we saw his mess if he come back, could have put down his uh, mask and we wouldn't recognize him. It's Igor. Oh, you're talking about Igor, right. It would be Igor. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Soviets are actually best cultists. All of them. This is that not makes funny. perfect sense. This is not funny. Really not funny. Okay. Alright, so where are you guys going first? I would say the museum. I would agree with that, yeah. Is it? Right. Okay. okay. Right. Museum um, it is. You go back to the museum. Um, it's not as crowded as it was the last time you were there. And you don't see Dr. Kafor anywhere. But you do hear his voice coming from his office. Okay. okay. I, just, I just knock on the we door. Yeah. Wait. Wait. Okay, no, wait, wait, okay, wait. Never mind. <laughs> you know I what? pull I can, out I several can... six of that now. <laughs> please, <laughs> not, please not, please not. <laughs> Let me guess, Arabic? He is talking to somebody in English. In English, okay. Wow! Fuck! <laughs> that calls for a luck point. <laughs> I, I mean, if, if I would have a, a higher score, I would be pretty triggered by that, by that score. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, you, could, you could tell he's conversing with somebody. Can I tell what he's saying? Um, he is talking with somebody, saying it's what he's saying is kind of muffled, but you do hear him saying things like the uh, return quickly, queen. They have to moon. return the queen of England quickly. <laughs> what the what was the last word? Moon. 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 Oh. 
My gut feeling was right. <laughs> yeah, no, he's probably coming back on the night of the full moon. Okay, um, so uh, Joseph is knocking on the door. Now, I'll accept every, uh, someone is going to stop him. Please come in. Uh, he opens the door. All right, you look, you see Dr. Kafor sitting at his desk and sitting in one of the chairs across from him is a different man that you hadn't seen before. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, am I interrupting you with anything? Uh, Nigel Wasif. Nice to meet you. Um, nice to meet you. Um, oh, what was my uh, nickname again? <laughs> Jack, what was my name again? John Jenkins Jingleheimer Jen Schmidt. <laughs> Miss me with that German shit. Um, John Jenkins, uh, English pastor. Newspaper editor, nice to meet you. Huh. Am I interrupting you, um, Interesting. Mr. Kafour or Mr. Wazif? No. Is there anything? I, I can come back later. Uh, Dr. Kafour says, no, we are... Nigel and I are old friends. Oh, okay. I have known him ever since he came to Cairo. Huh. Okay. Um, so, is it okay if we ask you some questions? Uh, while Mr. Wazif is here, or were you done anyway? Oh, no, of oh, course. I, I can, I can leave can, and uh, come back later if you... You can speak freely in front of him. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good. Then just enter. Enter, everyone. Okay. Okay, so... I have a couple of questions. Um, not, not a couple. Uh, it's just uh, two or three. I think so, at least. Um, first one would be, um, as I was sleeping yesterday, um, I didn't know there was a festival going on here in Cairo. I mean, something has to be celebrated. There were, uh, I, I don't know. I think there were songs chanted and uh, drummings everywhere. Um, is the, was there a special day yesterday? Or is this just a, let's say, a, a birthday uh, celebration? Hmm. Dr. Kafur Fate looks at you, frowns. There is no celebration. No holiday. No holiday. And okay. Nigel sits there. Fuck! Like with his head tilted down like he's thinking. Yeah, I'm just looking at him like... Hmm... Really? Oh, and, really? Oh, really? I'm just like, yeah, really. <laughs> because I know shit. I'm actually doing the same? <laughs> <laughs> 69 helps... Uh, 69 for the help for the win. Okay, so, uh, I assume there's something hidden? Maybe there is, but you can't figure anything out. If he's hiding okay. something, he's very good at it. Cool. Of course he is. I yeah, mean, just... there are, I think there are better people at this, or would, have, would they have, got, have better luck with this? Am I right? <laughs> Okay, um, that was just a, just a side note, uh, because I, I was quite ir irritated yesterday from uh, the drummings, and I'm, I'm not used to it. I'm, I am from New York, but uh, no one is walking around the streets and uh, uh, it was, it was uh, drumming, drumming on the streets uh, while I was a child. Um, yeah, second question um, regarding what we were talking about with you yesterday. Yes, yes. Um, we did some uh, some further research, and I gotta be honest with you. I'm although I've, I'm I'm a pastor, I'm quite interested in um, 
occultish occultish or um, occultish beliefs or other other kind of um, ways of practicing uh, any kind of religion. And uh, I stumbled upon I stumbled upon uh, some some facts about uh, the Black Pharaoh or oh interesting the time, the time of that. Um, it is related to the ancient gods, oh. I think. And uh, total of curiosity, um, it was it's quite weird for me uh, that uh, there is uh, well, I think each and every god in the ancient Egypt times uh, had their own um, like let's say a circle of of priests uh, specialized for them. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, wasn't actually like that. That there was there was uh, certain gods. Uh, it can be one, it can be multiple, uh, which had a gender restriction. Well, in all in all, gender was not really important. It wasn't, wasn't important, okay. That's and actually ancient, quite important. For the ancient gods, um, to be fair, the stories that come down to us are mangled and hard to understand. They contradict each other all the time. So somebody who's a god in one story might be a goddess in another. Okay, so um, I'm just making uh, this one up, uh, but uh, it should lead to um, to my point. Uh, let's say there is a, a god, Osiris. Okay. I mean, in most of the story season, he's depicted as a male one. Yes. But it is certainly possible that uh, there are uh, female priestesses, even though the god it himself is male. Yes, it is very possible. It's very possible. And on the other hand, gods like... Uh, insert here, female Egyptian goddess and Isis. or Bast. Isis, yes. And or Bast, uh, probably. Um... Of it's course. also likely that they would have a uh, male. So, gender isn't, wasn't really a thing, as you said. Well, if you were to compare Osiris and Isis, their priests and priestesses would work together because they were husband and wife deities. Okay, that, <laughs> that was a, a funny coincidence, but, but I think um, you know where I'm going. If you want to talk about Bast, Bast is a... Uh, Different specimen to all other of the to all the other one, Egyptian deities. Because she's uh, a cat, or is there another no. reason for that? Bast was worshipped a lot in antiquity. I mean, the that Egypt's we, thing for that cats. We, that we know a lot about Bast. Bast has always been a goddess. Never been a question about that. Oh, uh, of course. And so you would question Bast the... has always oh. had priestesses. There's never been priests. For Bast. Never. 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 I mean, there's not much in the way of a cult for her right now. I'm sure you could find a back alley temple. I'm triggered. This can't be... Spending one luck point. I want to make it a hard one. I was psych psychology rolling on uh, there are no best codes around now. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to roll, roll all the time, so... While yeah. he doesn't believe that there are any cults in existence for Bast at the moment, he's never ruled it out. And you, what? Feel, he's, you feel like he doesn't think that there is a cult to Bast, but he also sees that thinks that there's a possibility there is. Were there ever cults uh, with, of gods that had the or were represented with the heads of uh, male lions? No, no, not in, not in this area. Maybe in. Uh, Morocco or Kenya or Ethiopia, but not here. 
Okay, so what you just said, um, I think Ra was uh, one of the most important gods in, in ancient Egypt. Is that correct? Yes. So uh, that you could debate that Ra came later to existence than Bast. Like Bast is at least a couple of a hundred years, maybe a thousand years older in belief system than Ra. Is that correct? Well, Ra has always existed. You know, I mean, Bast is in the end a child of Ra. Bast, uh, Ra is the sun. Ra sees everything. Ra knows everything. I could go on to a debate with you about what which god came first, but it's in the grand scheme of things irrelevant. Yeah, I think so as well. But Bast is is quite old. Yes. In the belief system. Okay. Yes. Another thing. Other questions from you? And he, uh, he turns to the others. None from me. <laughs> okay, I think with that, all, although someone can stop me right now, that would be everything from our side. I have a question for you. Nigel yeah, sure. peeks out, uh, speaks to you. Sure, uh, Mr. Uh, what it, was, it, was, it, was it right? Why, Whatever why are you, you are. so interested in Bast? Um, I like cats. The... You, like, <laughs> you like cats? That was one reason. That's one. That okay. was one. Um, the second one, as I said, even though I'm a pastor, that doesn't restrict me from uh, being interested in uh, other calls. And as Mr. Kafur just said that uh, Bast is different from the other gods, uh, that woke my interest. It was just regarding to, to that, not um, not any other reason. Okay. Bast, I treat Bast as uh, basically every other uh, polytheist uh, religion is that she's just an entity no more no less okay uh, and yeah that would be it well you do seem curious there is a archaeologist somewhere in the city who has been doing a lot of research on Bast his name An is yes. His name is Jan Willem van Hovelen. Netherlandish, I think. Ah, uh, Dutch, yes. Dutch, yeah. Dutch. Okay. Cool. Um, if you manage to find him, he might be able to help you out. Okay, that's. That's, uh, that's good to know. Thank you. And he, he nods to him. Okay, um, any further question uh, from you to, to us? I do not believe so. I think you've answered uh, everything we can think of. Um, right now. Yeah. Jan will. Okay, uh, in that time, uh, what, oh, what that means... Oh, do we want to ask anything more about, uh, this plantation guy? Oh, Omar, uh, I think, uh, you already mentioned, Mr. Kafur, that, uh, you aren't that much in contact with, uh, Mr. al -Shati. Yes. That man is... One of these days, I will have the evidence to prove that he is dealing in underhanded trade. Okay. If you would like uh, to give us a little bit of work, we would happily get you that evidence for a little bit of pay. Come yeah, on. Yeah, little, little bit. 
little bit of money would not hurt anybody. <laughs> Joseph is just shaking his head. Can you guys make spy head rolls? Of course we can. It's not like we will succeed. Wow. I succeed? Okay, fine. All of us will <laughs> succeed. Alright, uh, you guys what? all notice. That Kefir's eyes shift to Nigel before shifting back to you. And he said, I think we can come to some sort of arrangement. <laughs> what aren't you telling us? I am, there is not, I am not keeping any secrets from you. Jack is immediately suspicious. Oh, Fuck my <laughs> I'm pushing. I'm pushing that. That, that was way too suspicious. All right. Okay. Two you and three. Can do it faster. Two and three. <laughs> there you go. Okay, you that have the uh, feeling that Kefir knows something about Nigel that he is not telling you. What do you know that you're not telling us? Because Jack yeah. is still already super suspicious, because that glance is just way too suspicious. Yeah, that man, if you wanna... If you want the thing done, you need to tell us the details. It's not like we uh, believe that you may be involved in uh, artifact theft or anything. No, of but course. You're your reaction or your um, your way of, of talking and how you how your uh, body reacts to uh, what you're saying uh, I get the feeling that there is something we really should know about that Omar guy as I was saying we need to know the details outwardly Omar al Shakti is a businessman yeah we know that. Wow. But, in my opinion, and the opinion of several others, he is... There is something that he's not revealing. There is something about him that is unnatural. Define unnatural. Please. That would be helpful, actually, yes. Unnatural I mean, as... Well, look, at, you're a pastor, right? Correct. If somebody made a deal with the devil, what do you suppose they would deal for? In most of the cases, it would be their soul. Oh, the soul and maybe in more in exchange for either much power or immortality. I mean, that was a, is a wish of uh, humankind ever since uh, they started thinking. I don't know. No, become also becoming the powerful being, have slaves, I don't know. Well, well, whatever. Yeah. Either power, wealth, or immortality. Those are the three big reasons to make a deal with Satan. As I or said. Lucifer, Lucifer, as I call him. Unnatural. Well, so I think he's unnaturally brave. I believe, I'm just going, this, this is just an assumption, you can say uh, that it's wrong or you may, and you may correct me, but I'm, I'm thinking that that Omar guy belongs in the power section, in the power deal section with Lucifer. Am I right? The way I see it, Omar has been very lucky in everything that he's done. How oh, lucky? What did he... What? May he show some luck? Are you sure he didn't make a uh, devil deal with a leprechaun? He may have. That's right, he blew a leprechaun and now he's super lucky. <laughs> Devil deal about what? <sighs> I mean, we, but you don't know if there are not okay. a devil, if there is not a de devil leprechaun. There might be an <clears throat> earth. 
You know, I haven't been in contact with Irish people, but I don't think there is a devilish um, leprechaun. Because you never saw him, so, uh, and you believe in God, so don't deny it. Oh, I met his him. existence. I met him. Once. I met him in my life. I'm fairly certain. Are otherwise, you really I, I, sure? otherwise, I wouldn't have effed in the past. Though. I may have ended up in the war with you. How terrifying the thought it would be. <laughs> no. Um. Anyway, uh, that devil contract you just described was fairly interesting. Creepy Mr. but Ford. interesting. Creepy but it's interesting, right. yes. If that turns out to be true, that will that will go on the first rank of my what is happening in this world list. Also, we're gonna need to find some gold because, or how how do we kill the precon? You step, him with a, you step him with a rainbow. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I forgot. You may, you take the rainbow and make a sword out of it. Yeah. For, how foolish out of me. Not think of that. <laughs> I'm, make, uh, I, 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 I'm obviously joking. I'm obviously joking. Yes, it was obvious. It was way too obvious. Okay. Uh, Nigel. Um, yes. Did you say what your occupation was? I am the editor of the Carol Bulletin. Ah. Oh. Um, that could be quite useful. Um, one of the reasons we came to Egypt was that we were investigating uh, what happened to the Carlisle expedition. Oh, yes. I, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at the expedition. Would we be able to go through your archives to um, see what stories you may have uh, run on them? Um, you can. I mean, if you want to come by the newspaper, of course. That, you know, I have nothing to hide. I'll, that's lovely. I will show you. All the uh, articles that we have. Yeah. Huh. Okay. When, we, when I'm out. looking through the articles and everything, he said that he's a redactor, right? And writes a journal. Editor. 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 Editor, Editor right? Okay, I'm, I'm actually <coughs> taking closer to what he wrote and trying to see if it's uh, similar or if I didn't see the similar editing before. I, I think we can only do that if we see specific prompts of uh, what, he's, what he wrote or what he edited. I mean, by uh, now, we just, we just have some, uh, uh, some newspapers and his word that uh, he's an editor, we cannot compare okay. writings and such. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be more specific. I'm trying to compare it if it's uh, similar to the newspaper that we got uh, when we were at the building. The about uh, M6 uh, notes. Ah, oh, yeah. Number 11. That's, that was out of character. I tried to uh, see if it's similar, if the text uh, is similar or the style is similar. I mean, I, I don't think he has a prompt with him, right? No, no, nothing. I don't have anything with me. Uh, see, uh, we are not able to do that in I that am, case. I am just here to um, enjoy some tea with my friend. And you may may do. It's it's important to keep uh, social contacts uh, healthy. A healthy uh, social relationship is, is always important. Very. Huh. Okay, in that case, if uh, no one else has any further questions uh, from either side, I would say thank you for your time, Mr. Kafur, Mr. Wazif. I'm sorry for uh, interrupting your conversation again. Of course, there's no problem. Out. Okay. 
with that, uh, Joseph is leaving the room, but uh, is positioning himself. So after the last person who exits the door is shutting the door again, um, he could um, stay there for a while and uh, and listen to what they're saying. Of course, the poster will do this stuff. Okay, it's make a, make a listen check. All right, the, um, as soon as you're out of the room and the door seems to be closing, the two men are talking again. And while they're talking in whispers, you can tell that, um, you can hear Nigel saying, we knew they would be coming to Cairo. Okay, um, is that all, or...? That's all, everything else, you, you don't really hear much anything else, nothing else stands out to you. Okay, after, after we exit uh, the, the building, um, I'm going to say that um, we were expected here. We were expected well, in Cairo. Cute. I heard this, this Nigel guy. Uh, saying that uh, they expected us coming here. Of course. So why don't what? we just burst back in and kill them, take them by surprise? Because I don't want to end up in jail. I talked you out last time and that... And I probably uh, got a ban in London for that. I mean, I mean, Jake is a sound weapon. There are five murder hobos uh, wanted in London. Egypt has a lot of English uh, soldiers and policemen. I think they can connect the dots. I gotta be honest with you, Doctor. But she has the... But she has the... Uh, the silent weapon. I'm, I'm going to be against that. No, no, we're not going to do that. I mean, you know what? I'm. I don't know what you're going to do now, but I'll be taking my leave. I'm going to visit that uh, Dutch guy. If you're going to shoot him, fine, do it. But please don't inform me, or um, yeah, please don't inform I, me about it. I want. I do not want to be involved in that kind of. You just want and, plausible deniability. And Harold is the sound weapon. <coughs> yeah, Harold. Are you, do you have any uh, opinion? No, he's. Uh, well, I say this. Opinion less. Uh, opinion about what, in particular? Where we should be shooting you. these guys who say they knew we were coming. Uh, oh, good grief! Not again! <laughs> you know, leave. Yeah, you know, they are offering us uh, a job finding out information about. Uh, um. Um, uh, what was it, Shakti? So why don't we get paid for, for doing what we were going to do anyway? Because I, mean, I think we're being set up. And we get money from Terracops. They're not going to have that's much the, money on them. The Joseph uh, pulls out his gun, he grabs it uh, <laughs> on, the, on the barrel, and is giving it back to the doctor. Here, take that back. I don't know what you do. I'm going to look for that uh, Dutch guy now. And he just turns back and walks away. I immediately, that he hands me the gun, I immediately say hi there so uh, no one sees it. I mean, Joseph did not do it, uh, obvious, obviously, of course. Uh, he was kind of discreet about it. So, uh, he just gives it to you. And if you're following me, I'm you're free to do so. But let, give, let me give you that advice. If you shoot him, I don't know you. Very okay. funny. Is, it, is that clear? You don't, we've done much horrible things at this point, so this is I, I mean, piece of cake. I mean, Jack will shrug and follow. I mean, just a little reminder, Doctor, when we first met in New York, you were quite, quite terrified uh, by the thought that Carl... A friend called Carlisle is probably killed 
my cultists, and you couldn't bear that. Fuck. Remember? Let's just go... See? See? Shut up. Yeah. Anyway, I was... And by the way, I was joking. Of course you were. Of course I was. But it is true that what they were saying was, let's say, unpleasant. It's always unpleasant to hear someone bargaining with Lucifer himself. I think at this point we are all bargaining with Lucifer. <laughs> I don't know what you do in your free time, but I don't. Come on. Well, I mean, I, s I admit I've sinned, but uh, I did not do some shady things with Lucifer himself. No, but yes. at this point, and at this point, you have yes. done yes. horrible things enough that. Yeah. That forgiveness will not be given to you, to any of us. And I just but, start approaching. No, it's not. But I, but unlike you, I know it's true. Uh, out of character. Uh, unfortunately, guys, I'm gonna have to wrap it up pretty soon because I've got to go. Okay. So, uh, I think that we're able to end the session here anyway. All right. Okay. Uh, sorry to be a bit of a buzzkill, but no, it's no, fine. No. It's fine. I mean, right, if you wouldn't well, have interfered, then uh, it would have turned out to a conversation between what is sin and what is life, what is the meaning of it. So it, you, I think it would be good. <laughs> you, you, let, you let us kill people, so... Okay, please, I try, please end guys. It. Please, I try. please end it now, please. <laughs> 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 see y'all next week, guys. Alright, see yes. you next week. Yeah, okay. See ya. See ya. Yeah. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye. Thanks, Mike. Bye.